And the great thing about Instagram DM automation compared to a typical landing page funnel or email marketing is that you can actually optimize, meaning you can improve the results of every single step of the interaction. Hey there, I'm Natasha Takahashi, co-founder of School of Bots, and welcome to the best place on the internet to learn how to get more sales, more leads, and automate support on messaging apps. So today I'm talking about a brand new tool called Instagram DM automation. What this means is that you can now create valuable messaging experiences for your Instagram profile that somebody can go through 24 seven, anytime, even if you and or your team are not online at the moment. So whether you're currently getting inundated with DMs and wanna deal with Instagram overwhelm and that brought you to this video, or you wanna get more DMs so that you can be getting more sales, gain more followers, get more leads, and automate support on Instagram DM, this video is for you. So let's go ahead and dive in into what Instagram DM automation truly is and how you can be using it. So what is Instagram DM automation? Long story short, DM automation allows you to do exactly what that means, which is automating a back and forth experience that's valuable for people who are coming in to DM you. And you can actually drive both organic traffic, which I'll talk more about the features in just a moment, as well as pay traffic from Facebook and Instagram ads into your DMs to then have these back and forth conversations for whatever your ultimate goal is from your Instagram profile. Is it to grow your revenue? Is it to gain more leads and get them to book a appointments with you? Is it to automate the frequently asked questions that you and your team are having to answer hundreds of times a day? Whatever it might be, Instagram DM automation can help you automate that and therefore free up a lot more of your time and resources to actually focus on growing your Instagram and getting even more DMs in that can be further automated by your automation funnels, your flows. So this is a little bit of what it looks like here. And if you use a platform like manychat.com, then you can create these experiences or message funnels without any code. So the platform is drag and drop, which makes it really easy for any marketer, influencer, or person who doesn't know how to code to actually do this. And ManyChat is actually very easy to get started with, just like you can dive into the Facebook ads manager or dive into even Instagram and start to create some posts. But we like to say that chatbot marketing strategy is actually 70% strategy and 30% building, meaning that you need to have a great strategy in place to continue to get results that sustain themselves over time and build the right foundation instead of just constantly looking for little tips and tricks and tactics that you can be implementing. And the great thing about Instagram DM automation compared to a typical landing page funnel or email marketing is that you can actually optimize, meaning you can improve the results of every single step of the interaction. Because in real time, you're seeing where are people dropping off if I'm, let's say, explaining what you do or how your services work or what you guys stand for in a few back and forth messages or even asking somebody questions like if you're a real estate agent, you might want to know, you know, um, who is a part of your family? How many people are you looking to, to buy a house for? Uh, what's your budget? Questions like that, that you can find out, okay, where are people dropping off and how can I change the wording then of how I'm asking that and improve the click rate on those messages. And you'll see some examples here as well beside me so that you can understand what I mean by optimizing every single step of the conversation. So now that you know what Instagram DM automation is and a little bit about how it works and how you can get started with it, let's talk about what actually led Facebook to release this tool to the public. So chatbots have existed since 1964 on various different platforms and tools. But of course, a lot has evolved since then, right? Not only technology, but the internet itself and the apps that we use on a daily basis on our phones and on our computers. So really since 2016 is when messaging apps tied to social media for marketing purposes were birthed. And Facebook created Messenger Bots, which is very similar to Instagram DM automation, but on Facebook Messenger, so the messaging platform platform that's tied to your Facebook page and allowed you to be able to boost sales, lessen lead costs, generate more leads and qualify them quickly and automate support, all sorts of really amazing use cases that have resulted in thousands of case studies. And this was a big gamble, but they were highly successful. And so now what they've done is enabled the same type of technology and capabilities, but on Instagram DM. So for us, 
just to give you some background, we've been doing this for the last five years with Messenger. And so we've been able to apply a lot of the learnings that we got from sending over 20 million messages on Messenger for our industry leading clients that operate at scale, that spend millions of dollars a month on ads, but also get a ton of organic traffic in. So we've seen it all in the sense that on Messenger, we understand what works in this environment. And it's pretty much the same thing on Instagram. You just are able now to leverage the features on Instagram, like stories and posts and other ways to get people to DM you. So now five years later, as I mentioned on June 2nd, 2021, to be specific, Facebook opened up this messaging capability on Instagram. So what can you actually do with the platform then? Now that you know a little bit about how it works, we have the same definition, we're on the same page, and you understand why Facebook is even doing this. So what are the features that you can be leveraging right now, regardless of your industry, your business model, if you're a business or an influencer, you can be using all of this uh, to equal benefit there. And not only benefit yourself by saving a ton of time and resources for you and your team, but also bringing a ton of value to your followers who wanna be engaging with you. If you're an influencer, they want to have a conversation with you, learn more about you and see, you know, how they can relate to you more and more as they dive deeper into chatting with you. And it doesn't need to be you doing that with hundreds or thousands or hundreds of thousands of people every single day for a business. This is going to alleviate so much of the support and resources that you tend to have to give to DMS because it is overwhelming at times, especially if you have a larger account. So these are some of the features that are available that you can get started with today that allow you to automate your DMs as soon as somebody comes in to talk with you. So the first feature is called a keyword. And how this works is that people can trigger a message, the first message that they would get from you that's automated by sending a specific word or phrase. And there's a lot of ways that you can tell people to come and do this for your profile. Essentially the logic is if somebody says this, then the bot or the automation should say this but the magic actually happens after that point because somebody could DM you, for example, let's say that you've got a big promo going on and you say, hey, DM us the word promo to get 15% off our entire e-commerce store right now. And so everyone's like, oh my God, this is amazing. I've been waiting for a sale. They go ahead and DM you and now that's going to trigger the first automated message. So now moving into our second feature that I wanna talk about, you have what's called quick replies, which look like little bubbles that allow the user to click on one of them to then engage in a back and forth interaction. You can also have people actually just message you back and that can have a back and forth, but buttons allow you to better direct and guide the user on their journey. And because this is new technology for most consumers, they wanna know how they should be using it and you can instruct them the best by giving them some pre-filled options to then say, oh, tell me more about that. Or, um, you know, this is where I'm at right now in my experience level if you're trying to qualify a lead. So anyways, coming back to my example then, the user DMs you the word promo, you then say, hey, looks like you're interested in this discount code, is that right? Bubbles pop up and they say yes, or uh, tell me more. And then from there, the user clicks on them and now you can do whatever you want here. You can make this interaction as long as you want. We've had interactions that go 15 to 20 messages back and forth, as well as some quicker ones that might only be two or three messages. You might be saying, great, here's a link to the promo code, go ahead and check that out and then you can actually follow up with people as well. So that's all the magic of being able to bring someone in by having them reach out first and then creating all these different micro commitments along the way to get people to engage and accomplish your business goals on Instagram, whether that's giveaways, giving away discount codes, generating leads, capturing emails, signing somebody up for a webinar, lead magnets, or simply saying, hey, here are frequently asked questions. Does this answer it? Great, if not, then let me connect you with a human. And that's something else that you can do as well. So two features we've talked about so far, keywords, and then these quick replies. Now to talk about keywords just for a moment now, cause I know I'm bouncing a little bit back and forth, but I hope that gives you a bigger picture because I like to describe it in that way so you can understand that, okay, this is how it all comes together in the user experience. The great thing about keywords is you can tell anybody anywhere to DM you. You could be on stage speaking at an event or a virtual event for that matter and say, hey, if you wanna learn more about what I just talked about, then go ahead and DM me on Instagram the word freebie or something like that. And now all these people can go and DM you. In your stories, that's especially where it's effective. Instead of doing a swipe up story, you can say, hey, DM me the word PDF and I'll send you this free lead magnet, this free PDF that shows you five steps to do X, Y, Z. 
And then you can also have it in your bio, in a reel, at the end of an IGTV video. Say, if you wanna learn more, instead of go to the link in my bio, go ahead and DM me this word and I'll get you access to what I've promised. So there are endless ways that you can be telling people to DM you certain words in order to trigger those back and forth automated conversations. But the biggest distinction here and what's most powerful is that it's not just one message. You wanna create this back and forth a valuable messaging experience so that you can actually accomplish your goals there and create a relationship. Relationships aren't built by just one or two step interactions, they're built by multiple. And oftentimes it takes up to seven touch points for somebody to buy from you. And that's been proven over the years, especially with digital marketing where we have so much tracking in place. And so it makes a lot of sense for you to have as much back and forth in opportunity as possible for your users. So the next feature that I wanna talk about here is story mentions. So story mentions allow you to respond automatically to anybody who has uh, tagged you in their story or who has reposted your story. So it's a great way to just say, hey, thank you so much for mentioning us in the story or we love this. And oftentimes there are so many different ways that people might be uh, you know, tagging you in their stories for just depending on the type of business that you have or if you're a business or an influencer. So there's ways that you can randomize this, have like 10 different replies that get sent. They can be a little bit more generic and over time, Instagram will improve this, I believe, so that you can have a better idea of what somebody actually said in their story. But in the meantime, this is a really powerful feature, especially if you have team members who are having to reply to all these stories every day, say, thanks for tagging us, thanks for tagging us. This is a way for you to start to automate that and make your users feel like you care and like you're seeing what they're posting since they're being loyal by following you and by tagging you there. And the final feature I wanna talk about is called an icebreaker. So icebreakers are what people will see when they go to DM you, but they'll see some pre-filled responses available. So same visual as the quick reply, where they'll see these bubbles and you can add, I would recommend one thing for marketing. So getting somebody something free, like a discount code or a free lead magnet or sign up for a free training. And then something for sales, like book an appointment with one of our sales team members or something that leads people further down, if that's what they're looking for, they wanna cut right to the chase. And one option for customer support like CRFAQ. So you can see a visual here of what that would actually look like on Instagram DM, where somebody goes to message you and if they haven't come for a specific reason, like DMing you a keyword, then they'll see those options and that can oftentimes really help people go down the right pathway through your DM automation and save you time and resources as well. So apart from those features, there are a few other ones that are available at the moment, but that are really embedded within the conversation itself that you've actually already seen how they work here. And we're gonna be creating a few more videos to dive deeper into each of these features later on. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But for the meantime, these are the most powerful ones that you can start to use immediately and get sales, get more leads, and automate your support on Instagram DM. So I hope you found this video insightful and valuable. If you have any questions at all about how this works or how you should be using this for your business or brand, your personal brand, go ahead and drop your questions below and I'm happy to get back to you there with my answers. And if you're looking for the best place to get started with this, to get not only the beginning skill set but also advanced strategies, we've got the best resource for you called the Instagram DM Automation Playbook. Check out the link in the description and I'll see you in our next video.